Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jess. Welcome, 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 welcome to Illyria. Name the film in the comments and then you and me will be best friends. Anyway, so welcome back to my What's New on the High Street series, episode three of season two. And I hope you're all having a lovely Tuesday. I think I'm gonna do What's New on the High Street videos on Tuesday evenings. Let me know if that's an issue for anyone. Yeah, maybe like Tuesdays around 6.30, that's gonna be the posting time, I think. Give you guys some outfit inspiration for like planning your outfits for the weekend. If you wanted to buy anything for the weekend, you had time to like order it. You know that vibe. Anyway, um, don't ask me about my hair. That would be great. I curled it yesterday and then it rained and so it went so frizzy and I just don't like restyling my hair once I've styled it. You know, I don't like that much heat on it. So it's just like this, it's just frizzy. And we've, I've got a headband in it, I've tried to tie it up, I've given up on it completely, but we're friends, so it's fine. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with today's video. Oh, if you're not used to these videos, if you're new here, then basically I do a weekly video on my channel where I round up like my favorite bits that I've seen on the high street, different trends and all of that kind of jazz. I don't keep everything, we discuss in the comments what I should keep and what looks awful. But I'm gonna do something a little bit differently today. Instead of trying it on one item at a time, I've kind of put them into outfits-ish, a few things are on their own, to show you how I would style them and what I bought to wear with what kind of vibes so you guys can have a bit more of a visual aid. So yeah, we'll get trying on for useful information. I'm about five foot seven-ish and I'm a UK size 10. Everything will be linked below. If you have any issues finding things, let me know. Either Instagram, DM me, I'll put my Instagram here or just write in the comments and I'll get back to you. And yes, let's get trying on. First things first, what am I wearing today? I'm so excited to talk to you about this jumper because it's my new obsession. This is like a, just a Topshop denim skirt. I will link this below, Topshop headband and this jumper is new. It was very kindly sent to me by Skinny Dip and it's part of their Mean Girls range. She doesn't even go here. I think this jumper sold out, but I will link all the Skinny Dip Mean Girls stuff below because it's so good. Like, it's some of the best, like, movie merch I've seen for, for Mean Girls. They also sent me this top, which I love and I've been wearing. It's, this one's in a size small, this jumper's in a medium. This is in a size small and it says, you can't sit with us. I've got a picture of the plastics. I also got this phone case. Do, 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 focus. On Wednesdays we wear pink. So yeah, the stuff was sent to me, but I was on no obligation to post it anywhere. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think that because I'm a Mean Girls fan, all of you guys will be Mean Girls fans too. So wanted to share share that knowledge with you. Right, let's get trying on. Uh, where should we start today? I've got kind of weird pieces today. Some weird stuff that I wouldn't normally buy, but I'm trying to branch out show you some new trends. But I'm gonna start off with white jeans. You know how I'm on the hunt for the perfect pair of white jeans? There were a pair in my Zara haul, which I posted on Sunday. There were a pair in last week's video. I bought some Topshop white jeans. Now these are the Topshop straight leg jeans and I've got these in a size 28 and a leg 32. Oh, I'm not in focus. How long have I not been in focus for? Hello? My camera is really struggling at the moment. I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Ugh. So expensive. I think that Topshop straight leg jeans, I love Topshop denim, you know that if you've followed me for a while, but I think that straight leg jeans are always really short, so I've gone for a 32 length so that they're just not like cropped around my middle of my shins. I would prefer a normal crop around the ankle. So I've gone for 32. They look a little, they might be a little bit see-through, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try it on with this oversized black t-shirt. You see how it's like big sleeves, kind of boxy fit. This one is in a size small and it's 15 pounds. Got my hair all over it. It's just basics. I love a, 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 a basic. So we've got basic black t-shirt, basic white pair of jeans, put them together. Hopefully we'll have a fantastic, cute little monochrome outfit. Okay, so outfit number one. I love this. I, lo I really like this t-shirt. It's a bit of a bat wing style, which normally I'm not like massively a fan of, but I think going into spring and summer, we're so great with like styling with different skirts and trousers, which I have below to show you. So I love these jeans. They fit perfectly for a size 10. They're not too tight, which is so important to me. I hate crushing myself with jeans. I'll show you the length. Let me get this chair, but it's just so heavy. I'm gonna get a, a, another trusty chair because this arm chair me don't don't do that well. Okay, so can you see the length of these jeans? Not really. So they crop here. They've got a raw edge. Can you see the raw edge? I really really like the fit of them. Let me know what you guys think. Oh. Okay. Put the chair back. 
so yeah let me know what you think about this just like a really cool casual outfit in my other couple of videos i've had some colored blazers i had like a mint green blazer and my zara haul i had a white blazer pink blazer in episode one so all of that would look so cute with this as an outfit wear this with like a cute pair of heels a pair of converse you know my vibe. Crossover bag, I love a crossover bag. Pop of color on a bag or a headband would look so cute with this. Next thing I wanted to show you just with this black t-shirt is just a really cool skirt from Topshop. Now I don't know what this is gonna look like on, I'm a little bit worried. So it's a leather pleat, well, pleather pleated skirt. Now I have no issue with dominatrix style outfits, but like I personally wouldn't wear them and I don't know whether this is a bit like plasticky for me or not. Try it on and see, I've got this in a size eight and it was 29 pounds. I love an all black outfit, and I think, do you remember my red headband in last week's episode? This outfit, like all black outfit with the red headband would look so cute. Pair of big chunky blue, blue, boots, big chunky boots, pair of like patterned tights. Try this on for you and see what it looks like. Okay, what do you guys think about this one? So it fits really nicely, it's a little bit snug, but it is an eight but I think the 10 would be too big. The thing I'm always not sure about these things because I always tuck my t-shirts in, so it kind of adds to my hips. When something's really tight here, it always seems to stick out quite a lot there, but I don't know what that looks like. It's a nice length, it's, it's a little bit short actually, I think, but it is cool. And this is something really versatile, you could style with lots of different things. This would like an oversized piece of knitwear. Actually, I've still got this, Got this on the floor still from my Zara haul. If I just chuck this cardigan on. Please go and watch my Zara haul. There are so many cute little dresses in there. Do I just kind of look a bit librarian-y, school girly in this? I don't know. But um, yeah, loads of different ways that you could wear this. This with like a bright colored knitwear or a white jumper would look super, super cute. Oh, actually, let me get my pink blazer, bear with. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of styling for you. But this all black outfit, black headband with a pop of like bright pink on the blazer, so, so cute. Love this. I would wear this as an outfit. I think it's really nice. I think this is linked in episode one, so I'll link that below so you can go and check that out. And then another jumper, another jacket that was linked in my first video, episode one, is this de oversized denim jacket, Ooh, which would look so cute with this. Pair of black high top Converse, pair of like white big trainers, Doc Martens, anything like that would look so cool, like really relaxed style. Or with this skirt, I know I'm waffling on about this outfit for so long, but you could wear this with like a pair of um, over knee boots, a pair of heels, wear it on a night out, cute little lace top, cute little crop. So yeah, lots of ways to wear this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you just hate it. Open to all. Okay, next up. Okay, we're going orange. I never wear orange, never. I don't know what it does to my skin tone. I don't know if it's a really like that nicer color. It's one of my sister's favorite colors, but I really just don't like it. But I was in Stradivarius the other day and I picked up this outfit. Bought this jumper in a medium, like nice big oversized piece of bright orange knitwear. Really fun piece for spring. And then I also bought these trousers, which come with a belt, very cute. They're like a nice tapered style trouser. So I wanted to try this on for you as an outfit. So I'm a bit nervous as to what they'll look like because of the weird weird shape. Got these ones in a size UK 10. So these are 25 99 and this was, bear with, bear with, priceless, doesn't have a label on it. Super. Who knows, a mystery price. Surprise yourself on the link. Okay guys, so I actually really, I love the trousers. Um, let me know what you think about this bright colour. This is so fun going into spring and summer in this like bright neon colour. Let me know what you think about the colour and the two items together. If I was wearing a bright coloured jumper, normally I'd style it with a pair of blue jeans or something, but actually I kind of like the clashing colours of this together. I'll just try and hide this there. So these are a balloon fit style trouser. They are cropped. Let me just get on this. Oh, I'm getting stronger. They're a balloon style fit. Come up to about there. Um, what do you guys think about these? They're something so different from what I would normally wear. Oh, oops. I really like them. They are so comfortable. I like that they come with a belt. I probably swapped that out for a belt that I already own because this is just a piece, literally a piece of plastic. But nice to see how they would style them. If I come a bit closer, they come up quite high. So again, quite flattering. I'm not sure what they look like on the bum, but 
yeah what do you guys think about these this jumper is growing on me massively i really like it in this relaxed kind of preppy style with these trousers maybe with a pair of like white tennis shoes maybe a pair of adidas classics would look so cute white converse as well basically a white trainer any any variety I see that this jumper would look really cute with like blue denim um i personally wouldn't wear this jumper with the black skirt i've just tried on it would just give me major halloween vibes and i hate orange and black together unless it is Halloween. Let me know what you think about these two items. Just a really cute spring on trend look. Okay, moving on. Up next, we have a pair of blue jeans and a cardigan. I'm on such a cardigan hype right now. Oh, let me just button this up. Both of these are also from Stradivarius. So all four of these pieces are from Stradivarius. Just put that there a second and just show you the blue denim with the orange. What do you guys think? Now, one thing about this blue denim that you're going to have to just completely ignore is i wore these jeans the other day for a photo <laughs> and i hugged a dog basically and the dog had just been in the park and the dog got me covered in mud i have no regrets i would do the same again in a heartbeat the dog was cute but when am i going to learn that when i'm shooting outfit photos in brand new items of clothing don't hug every dog you see jessica so look at the mud it basically jumped up at me and like rubbed itself all over me which i i really enjoyed until the owner was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I was like, that's okay. I haven't taken the photo yet, but it's fine. I got these in a UK size 10. Now these are a balloon style pair of jeans. So look at them. They look huge and big and baggy and oversized. And I loved how comfortable they were. I'm still not sure about how flattering they are, which is why I'm showing them to you guys. But this balloon style fit of jeans and trousers is coming in. So I just wanted to show you, show you the new trend, see what it looks like and we can discuss. I left the price on for you. See how efficient I'm being sometimes? These are $25.99. So let's try these on with this old school cable knit cardigan for like a relaxed slouchy vibe. Okay, so this is the outfit. And I might even undo that button a bit. So these are the jeans. Let me get the chair again. I basically just need to get like a stool back here. That's a clever idea, I'll get a big stool. So these are the balloon style fit. They're obviously very baggy. Let me know what you think. This is the length of them. Ooh need some balance in my life or some core and they're just like super loose and very balloon style they are not meant to be the most flattering things in the world let me just hold that up actually they're not meant to be the most flattering thing in the world shush this chair is so squeaky listen but yeah they're so comfortable oh i really really like them these are a size 10 i could probably go down to a size 8 but i don't want to let me know what you think i really like the line all the way down the back of them i think that's a bit different this cardigan which i would love to style with anything pair of black jeans is super cute very affordable very soft i love the pattern and the detailing on it yeah really cute and then oh i've got this bag thought i would just show you how i would style this cute little bum bag like super relaxed styling really really easy to wear and both of these pieces you could wear with like unlimited pieces in your wardrobe this cardigan open over like little dresses with jeans as a top you can wear it as like an off the shoulder vibe as well let me show you very quickly last piece of the haul is this beautiful dress i'm worried about what it's going to look like on because it might just make me look like a big puffy marshmallow but this is a uk size 8 from river island and it was quite expensive actually it was 60 pounds but it's got lots of lace detailing lots of cutouts can you see very cute puffy sleeves really really nice statement piece it's lined as well with a little like slip dress underneath because obviously lots of cutouts so i just thought it was a bit different it looked really cool on the hanger so god knows what it's going to look like on me i might look awful like some form of dessert let's try it on okay so i don't know if i hate this or if it's quite cute i don't know if it just looks awful on me what do you guys think i definitely look like some kind of cupcake meringue thing it's not my style i would normally feel like quite uncomfortable going out in this like i wouldn't go and like meet my friends for brunch in this because they'd be like what are you wearing if i was going out and just like going on holiday or like a cute little trip away i want to look a bit different then i think i might quite like it but it was very tight to get into so it was a size 8 because that was all that they had in the shop they had that or a size 14. it really took me a while to get into it the slip is like very unforgiving and very tight you can button it all the way up if you want or just wear it like this just feel like a marshmallow meringue cupcake that's what i feel like but yeah let me know what you think about this one and that is everything oh no let me just show you this before we finish i'm just going to show you this bag that i also picked up from river island i love this this is such a great dupe of the chanel bag the chanel bum bag it's still got the plastic on these little bits 
Um, and I hate that it's got like a River Island branded logo thing here. I think that looks tacky, but you know what? I would take it because of this like big funky chain. I think it would look so cute. Obviously not with this dress, but well, maybe with this dress. Let me know what you think about this. Does this look really tacky, really blingy or quite cool? Let me know. How much is this? £26. Yeah, so that's all we have time for today. Well, not all we have time for. I have all the time in the world. But that's all the clothes I've got for today. Please, please, please make sure you watch uh, my Zara haul. There were so many cute bits in there that I think you guys will love. And yeah, let me know how you're getting on with the series. If you have any feedback, I would love to hear it. I know how annoying the echoey sound is in my flat. It's because it's still quite new and my camera just doesn't work well. I'm going to try and get a mic or something. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a video or whatever you fancy. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you got to the end of the video, I love you. And thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.